Afternoon guys, apologies if the waves are a bit loud. Um, just an update for this week. Looks like finally we've sorted the contract for the house, which is uh, very good news. Um, basically what I did is we wrote a contract, put a contract together I know works, did a Spanish English translation and then sent, well I didn't send, I got April to go and speak to the owner and explain that the contract that the alleged lawyer, and I say alleged lawyer because a lot of lawyers aren't really lawyers here in Spain, um, had given us what would be the equivalent of a commercial contract where you take on all liabilities. You know, the, if you work with, with any shops where you've dealt with this stuff, you know what I'm talking about. It's nothing like a residential contract. Um, she's accepted it, should get it signed off next Thursday and moving on the 20th. All going well. We're just about to uh, discuss the access because we've got a set of keys to get in. But I just want to make sure she's all right for us to go in and start painting. Um, I've sort of took on some of the responsibilities out of choice because seeing the state of the electrician, um, what he's done in there already with the electrics, I'll rewire it myself. Um, it won't take me long to do, but an electrician is often somebody just with a screwdriver, not an electrician with any uh, qualifications. In well, it's just the way it is. Um, doesn't mean they're all bad. It's just the one that is there seems to have broken more sockets and switches than he's actually fixed. Um, so, I'm hoping to get in there this weekend and start repairing everything going to paint out the sitting room, paint out the kitchen and paint out my new office. So the YouTube videos will be on the increase. Um, I'm opening up the new channels. I'm sort of stuck here at the moment because I, I can only upload three videos a day and it literally takes the whole day. The internet is absolutely abysmal. But then again, all these people over here that aren't normally here. So I'm sure whatever the connection is between here and the main exchange is overloaded so it is what it is I mean I can't grumble here I am on the beach uh, on my second walk for today that's another thing relating to the Fitbit what I've done is I've created a circuit which is roughly 4,250 steps long uh, the reason being I would do three circuits a day that puts me over my 12 and a half thousand um, I find that easier to do rather than going, oh, I've got another 500 to do, another 500. Just doing like breakfast, first circuit, lunchtime, second circuit, and then in the evening, that's three circuits, and I want to do another one to try and boost it up, which I have been. Um, I'm starting to push 15, 1,500 steps a day. Uh, 15,000 steps a day, sorry, not 1,500. Um, so, yeah, that's all good. So looking forward to the move. Uh, what else have we got going on? Uh, financially, I've been doing quite well the last couple of weeks as well. I've actually made some extra money the last couple of weeks. I've made an extra thousand pounds. Um, I've also had a contract offer come in, which I'm tempted to do, even though I'm in two minds about it, for Germany. Um, purely because I've done any asset management in Germany, but I also love Germany. I, I, spent six years of my childhood there so um, I might be heading off to Germany for a, a short contract maximum of probably 10 weeks but very likely to be less if I can negotiate that we work longer hours get paid and get out because uh, that's how I like to work I like to make more money and less time um, what else has been going on well, I suppose the only other thing I suppose is looking at uh, Michael Fazio and the hassle he's been having with uh, JLB's nonsense. I mean, imagine somebody telling people that you're dead when you're not. Um, and then not having the, the most simplest thing of just apologising for it. Instead, try to make more and more YouTube views out of it. Absolutely crazy. Um, I spoke to Michael yesterday because I was just saying, look, just don't bother with a guy. The guy's doing it purely because he wants traffic from it. Does it with everything. You see the whole thing where he's chasing ladyboys and all sorts. Um, just don't entertain the guy. He's, uh, yeah. So I'm moving on. I'm not entertaining the guy. 
Uh, but yeah, I was just really shocked that somebody would actually say somebody was dead when they weren't. I wouldn't even do the basics of looking at where the guy could be or was. Um, it's because it's not hard. Uh, all deaths get registered in the Philippines in some form, especially a foreigner. You don't have to get touched with the embassy and say, um, I know this guy lives in Cebu, have you any deaths this week or whatever? I'm just wondering if he's actually been one of those deaths, as simple as that. They may turn around and say, well, I can't actually release any details, but they may actually confirm in a quiet manner that somebody has passed away. But hey, ho, don't bother with any of that stuff. Just stick it on YouTube that the guy's dead and that, that's how, how the world works these days. My goodness. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've, I've got to admit, being back in Spain, I'm a lot happier here. I mean, uh, why wouldn't I be? This is home. The only thing, like I said, we're moving to the new house, I'm going to lose this. I'll have to drive here to do this. In fact, I've got a better idea. I'll cycle here because it's only probably about 15 minutes on the bike. So I'll have to cycle here to do my walk. <laughs> but why wouldn't you want to live here? That's the thing. I mean, some, somebody mentioned today, well, you'll soon not be at EU because uh, obviously the old Brexit stuff's coming about. Um, no, but I'm hoping by that time April will be Spanish, a uh, Spanish citizen. And then that, that whole problem doesn't really bother me. I've got to admit, I am not too focused on, oh, what about my pension? You know what? The UK burned my pension. They burned it. Um, old uh, Gordon Brown, when he shafted everybody on their private pensions and the social pension, which old uh, Cameroon's trying to stabilise people into investing in because they can see that it's it's not really worth anything anymore. Um, I was talking to a couple of guys who were actually saying, yeah, but you're one of the last ones, I'll probably get a pension. I'll tell you what, I'd rather they just gave me the money. I can manage my money even far better than the government can. I'll tell you that now. Um, but even that, I sit and, oh, I sit and work out where to put my own money together to create my own pension anyway because I do not trust the British government with anything. It's one of the reasons we didn't go to the UK uh, is because I do not trust them even with going through their own immigration processes and I've had a few people go oh well you couldn't afford the 18.6. Um, I'd say you're an idiot because if you even took a basic understanding of what I do for a living you would find that 18,600 it's absolutely nothing compared to what I actually earn when I do survey. Um, and the reason I say idiot is because like old JLB doesn't do real research. Somebody's crashed their boat here with the waves. Oh dear. It's, uh, that was out near that, the other one. It looks like it, it's been caught with the waves and uh, been pushed. We have had some uh, bad weather the last couple of days, but as you can see today it's gleaming again. Absolutely beautiful. I love it here. I really do. I mean, oh, I've got to admit, I just come down here two, three times a day, chilled out, relaxed. As soon as I sit here, the whole world just disappears. You know, there's no worries or nothing. All I sit and do is look for wildlife and things like that. I look for the fish. And the uh, crabs, crabs, panejo. Panejo? Yeah, I think it's panejo, fangejo. I keep mixing the two up between rabbit, rabbit and um, crab. I think Cran, crangejo. Yeah, I think crangejo is the crab. Canejo is the rabbit. But don't quote me on that, like I said, I keep mixing them up. But yeah, some of these boats got stuck. Looks like somebody else is coming to have a look as well. Don't mind helping them push it back. He's, uh... Oh, 
yeah, I think he's going to move the boat or try to um, but yeah everything's good here in Spain the other thing I probably am looking forward to at the moment besides 100 meg internet is getting the kids back to school <laughs> um, it's nice having them home but it's keeping them occupied as they are a bit I mean I don't I, I, mean, I think there's been like a complete social change over the years because when I was a kid I was rarely in the house um, you'd be off, be off BMXing somewhere or uh, playing out in the playing outside always out and about doing something but it's very difficult these days with kids to get involved with things like Minecraft and stuff and it's trying to, trying to get my son off that at the moment so I took him a walk yesterday on the walk I do here and in all honesty he didn't grumble so it's a good thing but doesn't want to do it again <laughs> We'll go and walk along the beach. Uh, that's one thing I do find here is people shout a lot, but they're not actually shouting, they're just talking. Um, the only time it frustrates me is when they stand outside my window for 20 minutes doing it. Because they just don't care. <laughs> I don't think, oh hang on a minute, we're outside somebody's window. I wonder if we can see some fish down here today. Ah, there's some whizzing around. And I apologise my updates are getting a bit longer. But I want to try and share some of what I love in La Mata. I don't know if you're able to see the fish. Let's see if we can see some. We've seen the crabs last time. And if you haven't seen the crab video, uh, have a look over on the Alicante channel. There's some fish over there. Do you see them? Whizzing around. Going, going through the water about 90 miles an hour. This actually looks a bit cleaner than normal. Less plastic today. It's probably because we've had this storm, a lot of stuff's been washed away, I suppose. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a nice area. So, what's my plans for Spain? At the moment, we're still developing things. Uh, I was talking to Andreas this morning, relating to the problems I've been having with that uh, property, but it looks like we have managed to resolve that anyway now. Um, also talked to Igor this morning because his kids come over for Spanish, uh, English lessons and um, we were talking about the, because Igor's learning to buy another property here. Um, but we're going to be looking at setting up the expat maintenance and repair services. Uh, now the thing is we already own expat services Spain anyway. So adding the maintenance services is just a, a rework on the website to add them in. Um, I've just got to have a sit down with Igor and get a pricing structure off him. That's some fish in here. Not many though, you can't see them too well. It's all full of this purple stuff. Some of it's seaweed and some of it, I have no idea what the fluffy stuff is. But yeah, I mean, long term, I've got a few ideas on how to generate money. We're also set up for doing money exchanges now as well. Although I don't actually do them directly, um, I organise them for other people. So that's, that's, that's another string to our bow. Because not just like for people on the holiday, it's for house purchases and stuff as well. Getting the best rates and lowest cost. Uh, so everybody benefits um, but yeah I mean the Spanish stuff's going to keep developing uh, somebody was asked about the painting and decorating side there's a market for it here um, 
If you got to bear in mind, a lot of these properties have been up for some time and they haven't been maintained. Because there was like the housing slum, a lot of properties have just sat there, but also a lot of people that bought them have got older. So they bought them in the 80s or whatever, and they may have maintained them themselves, but now they're in their 80s. <laughs> and there is no maintenance getting done. So I'm sure there is money to be made in renovating some of the properties for sale or renovating them uh, for people that own them. Because let's face it, if I'm sat here all the time and somebody's bought a holiday home, they ain't gonna come on holiday to paint their house, are they? So that's, that's where your market is, is the fact that you're here already. Um, what I need to do is actually put all the cost matrix and that together for this stuff. Um, there's certainly a lot of work about. It's just tapping into it and starting the business off. Um, it's definitely busier now. Everybody I've spoken to have said this, not only the matter, Torrebecca is busier this year again. It seems to be in full recovery mode. Uh, because it's been getting busier the last three years from speaking with real estate agents, etc. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. I'm going to go and do my 4,000 steps. Catch you later.